How we doing guys? This video is going to be a complete tear down of this curved LED TV. I'll be showing you all the parts inside and things that go faulty on the inside of it. Now what I've got is just a cheap off the block kit of screwdrivers. I have already lost one. It's only a week old. Um, I don't use these for work or anything. Floating around the garage. Anyway, let's rip into it. Cool. Sweet. First thing, rip these stands off. In here, there's a wee tab. Gotta push it in with your screwdriver. Let's get that panel corner. Which once you take the rear of the unit, the screen can actually flatten down. So you can flex the screen quite a bit. So what we have here is the main PCB board. This is your brains of the TV. Here we have a speaker. Another speaker. We've got your power board. This deals with all your incoming power and the voltages it produces. Generally when your TVs stop working it is the capacitors, these electrolytic capacitors. Uh, a lot of them have a wearing in phase where they will last for a certain period of time up to three years and then they might decide to sizzle. If they last beyond that they can last for about 30 years plus. So when your TV stops working look at changing these over first before you think of throwing it out. These here are your ribbon cables basically a wiring harness with heaps of cores in it. Let's rip these boards off, rip the speakers out, get on to the next part. So here's an electrostatic bag.
LCD screen and LED TVs and LED backlights so surprisingly these backlights are the only LEDs in an LED TV